Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. I'm glad to have a new special guest here today to talk about another number one team at LSU. Softball coach Beth Torina. Well, Beth, thank you so much for coming on. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Well, at 31 and 1, the LSU softball team is top ranked for the first time ever. So, how has this team really raised itself up through the ranks this season and done so well? You know, I think we have great leadership and I think we have great senior leadership. We have three seniors that are really bought into what we're doing and are doing such a great job of, you know, helping our younger kids understand the expectations of this program and, you know, exactly what it takes to be a Tiger and exactly what it takes to be in the spot they're in. Right, and y'all smoked South Alabama on Tuesday night, eight to nothing. And you have more than ten shutouts this season, and 25 and 0 in non-conference play. I mean, that's just unbelievable. So, what's been the the most critical aspect? Do you think? Can you pick even one, or is it just a combination of pitching, hitting, or what? Yeah, I think the key is that we have a lot of weapons, and I think you know our pitching is really solid. Our offense has been amazing. I think we've played some really good defense. So I think you know we have a lot of weapons. So if something has an off day, we have enough to cover up for it with all the different weapons that we possess. And your pitchers, for example, uh, every one of them has an ERA below two. I was noticing, and so just talk about that group and how even against Oklahoma this past weekend, when you only won a game one to nothing, that they still were able to dominate. So just talk about them a little bit. Yeah, they're pretty special, and the thing about them is, you know, they're all four so different that they make each other so much better. I think they're able to match up with each other really well. Um, they're stronger because of the person that's thrown in front of them, and they're just all four really, really talented. I think they could be a number one in any program anywhere. So, you know, the fact that they're all bought into this fact that there's four of them, they're all contributing, I think that's a huge factor. And then I think we still have to give some credit to our offense, you know. Um, it's a lot easier to throw and throw strikes when you're up by five, six, seven, eight runs that our offense has been giving us that kind of room lately. Right. The team batting average of 365. So, Beth, um, have y'all worked on anything specific offensively this season? Well, I think our staff that works with our offense, you know, led by Howard Dobson, Lindsey Leftwich, Kara Dell, those guys do such a great job, and they've implemented a system here that the kids really understand, they've really bought into. I think they prepare them so well for what we're going to see. I think, you know, our kids are always prepared when they step in the box. They have a great plan. And this team we have this year really buys into the plan and they, you know, make it their focus to do exactly what their coaches ask them to do. And then they just have really excelled within that plan. And I think stepping into the box, having a plan gives them a ton of confidence. You take on Kentucky this coming weekend. Uh, of course, still a long way to go in the season. So what kind of challenge do you expect the rest of the SEC season to be? Well, the SEC is truly the best of the best, and now we have 10 of our 13 teams in the top 25. So, you know, every weekend when we take the field in the SEC, we have a huge challenge in front of us. It's always going to be a battle. Anyone can beat anyone in the SEC. We know that. So we have to show up every single time we take the field. We have to try and be prepared. And there's some great coaches in the SEC that are out to challenge us. And, you know, we have our work cut out for us this weekend with Kentucky, a well-coached team that will be well-prepared for us and going to have some cold weather we're going to have to deal with. But, you know, hopefully our Tigers will be prepared as well. <laughs> right, that cold just doesn't seem to go away, even in March. Well, you can catch the, the Tigers starting, starting in Kentucky at 5 o'clock on Friday over on the SEC Network. And Beth Torina in her fourth year at LSU, thank you so much for coming on again. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and thanks again, as always, for watching Talking Tigers, everyone. See you Thursday.